Okay, this is a uh, size comparison between the bass trumpet and the sound, well, size and sound comparison. Bass trumpet used a trombone, shank, uh, one that I made out of a, oh, what is this? This is a King 600 trumpet valve block on a CG Con uh, 16, uh, what is it? Yeah, 16L uh, bass bugle. It was originally uh, it had a long slide to pull it up to F. I cut it down to B flat, uh, made new slot, well, not made new slides, but uh, found much tubing that fit this bore on the valve block. Anyway, so. <laughs> Tuba. It's not, it's not your uh, typical tornister. It's a, uh, right now it's a G, and it has uh, your normal G bugle. Here it is in a, well, it's a Gesson from the 50s in chrome that I've had to, i got to either strip the chrome or uh, sand away certain parts where I need to solder to. Uh, and then we've uh, excuse me, now we, I have added a uh, mini sousaphone block off of one of those mini sousaphones, those like Chris Kratz or uh, what are those, um, Barconi or Barcone. Anyways, it's got a 540-ish bore, 550-ish bore, kind of small, um, a little bit smaller than a baritone, which is usually like 560-something. It had, you know, a larger lead pipe. Well, it had a smaller lead pipe on here. I put a baritone lead pipe, cut it down, did some other adjustments to it to get it to fit in here because the baritone lead pipe is larger. Obviously, you need to cut the uh, larger end down, you know, so the taper isn't so huge on this end. I attached the original receiver that was on this sousaphone valve block, and that's like something between like a baritone and a tuba. Um, it fits a tuba mouthpiece, which is what I play with because it's going to be a tuba anyways. I'm using a, what does it say? Yeah, Selman's, Selman's Burger Solo Number 2 on this. Uh, with American Shank. Uh, works great. Uh, it's made for like F, E flat tubas and all the really big kind of bass, but it, it sounds good on this. Uh, here's what it sounds like. Um, 
it kind of sounds like a baritone because it still is in kind of that baritone range of the G because it's only like 10 feet, 10, 10 and a half feet, something like that. Um, it's not, it's as close to G as I can get without cutting more tubing off than I need at the moment or adding more tubing than I need. Anyways, I have about eight or nine feet at it or um, being ordered through Allied. That's going to be added to this about 560 or 570 bore. Um, it should, because it's larger, it's going to be after the brass and it's going to go in somewhere here on the chrome section. So I have to cut another, this, have to cut another section off here, attach it, bend all that extra tubing through here, and then it should be in P-flat, hopefully. Uh, yeah, 10 inch bell, 540 bore. Future iterations of this, if I can find another small sousaphone valve set, um, would be adding a fourth valve off of like a baritone. Um, you know, that's a little bit larger, a little bit larger fourth valve, since those are about 560s. Uh, and then maybe a fifth valve, if I really wanted to go for it, but if you're in this size, you're not really going to be using a fifth valve, because it's not really necessary. Um, yeah, but if I want to do one and see, I, I'm, I might consider adding a fifth valve. You can find those base trombone rotors that are, uh, they make them like 545, 50, 560 bore. So I can put it before the valves or after the valves, or if I really wanted to, I can put a de dependent valve inside the fourth slide. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool.